Hey everyone, welcome to Coffee and Crafting. My name is Lori. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please take a moment to consider to click that subscribe button and the like button to give me a thumbs up as it does help my channel to continue to grow and be recognized. Today I have five beautiful easy to make rustic spring Easter DIYs for you using Dollar Tree and Dollarama items. So grab your coffee or your favorite drink and let's start. It's just what I do when I'm out so try not to hold me for this DIY, I have a pink pot that I had on hand and I'm going to give it a couple coats of paint using the white acrylic paint from Decor Art. Drive a faster car. Lay my troubles to rest. Blow the smoke through my cigarette. City lights. I'm going to dry brush the pot with the antique wax from Michaels to bring out the lines on the pot and also to give it more texture for a rustic look. Stop it now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. drive a faster car i'm gonna be myself i'm gonna be someone else i'm gonna be myself i'm gonna be someone else i'm gonna skip my breaks i'm gonna make mistakes i'm gonna skip my breaks i'm gonna make mistakes i'm gonna be myself i have an easter headband from the dollarama for a dollar fifty i'm going to paint the pink ears with my white acrylic paint and hope it will cover most of the pink on the ears i will not be using this side of the headband in my diy i just want to cover up the pink as much as I can. After the paint dries, I'll turn the headband over and use my hot glue gun to glue around the edges of the ears. Then I'll add my white faux fur yarn to the glue and I'll do this for both ears. I want the bunny ears to look soft and fluffy.
I'll cut a few pieces of the floral foam and place it in the pot. And then I'll add my fern leaves from the Dollarama for $1.25 to the back of the pot. Then I'll add a bundle of the boxwood greenery in front of the fern leaves. Next, I'll place the bunny ears in behind the greenery in the pot. And to finish this DIY, I have a snowball for my Christmas stash that I will use for the bunny tail. I'll put some glue on it and stick it in between the greenery. This bunny pot turned out beautiful. It has a very high-end look to it. It was easy to make and I absolutely love it. For this DIY, I'm using an empty tin can. I'm going to mix some paint using the pumpkin spice and the metallic gold to get more of an orange rusty color. I will paint the top and the bottom of the can, leaving the middle as is. I lose my breath whenever I see you. You stole my heart, what is it that you do? My life was great to you. When the paint dries, I'll take a piece of burlap and fold it in half to make it a double layer. Then I'll glue the burlap around the middle of the can. Using a black marker, I'll start to spell the word can. I didn't like the marker, so instead I used a thin brush and my black chalk paint to spell the word can carrots. I also made the letters bigger. Hey everyone, just want to say a quick hello and thank you for being here. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please take a moment to consider and click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified when I upload any new videos. And give me thumbs up by clicking the like button. This helps my channel to continue to grow and be recognized. And leave me a comment down below on which DIY you like the most. I'll put a couple pieces of floral foam inside the can, adding some moss to the top. I have a package of four big carrots from the Dollarama for $1.75. I'm going to paint them using the rusty orange mixed paint to calm down the brightness of the orange and also the sparkles on the carrots. Then I'll put the carrots in the can. I just need you. I don't know what it is you do. I just want you. After looking at my canned carrots, the sea was driving me crazy. It looked more like a six than a C. If I leave this, I know it's going to drive me even more bonkers. <laughs> so my solution is I took a piece of linen fabric I had. I cut a piece to cover the words canned carrots. I took a good sharpie and carefully spelled out the word 
canned carrots again. I glued the fabric over the messed up one and just like that, this DIY turned out better than it was. I think this is so adorable and has a cute rustic look. At the end of the video, you will see it in my makeover tray and I will link that video in the description on that spring makeover. So I hope you will check out that video. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to make this dark for this DIY, I have a three pack of terracotta pots that I bought at my Dollarama for $1.75. I'm going to paint them lightly using my white chalk paint. I have three half size crates from the Dollar Tree that were $1.25 each. I'm going to cut off the twine on each of the crates. Using my antique wax from Michaels, I'll stencil the words grow, gather, and bloom on each of the crates. When the paint is dried on the pots, I'll dry brush them using my antique wax. Next, I'm going to use my hot glue gun and glue the crates together. I'll add some floral foam to each of the pots. Then I'll take two pots and add some greenery from the Dollarama that I bought for $1.25. And then I'll add some moss to the top of each of the pots. And for the third pot, I'll add some dried lavender that I purchased last year from Amazon. It smells so beautiful. And I'll add some moss to the top of the lavender pot. I decided after the crates stood out way too much and looked at a place where I am putting them for spring. I'll dry brush the crates with the antique wax and then I'll place the pots in each of the crates. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out I love how this DIY turned out. It's very rustic looking and has a really nice high-end look as well. Let me know in the comments if you would have left the crates as is or dry brushed them with the antique wax. I would love to know what you think. For this DIY, I have a house with small black hooks that I found at my Dollarama for $2. I've never seen these there before and the quality is really good for $2. I removed the black hooks and the twine with the bird. 
I have a wrap on transfer from the Dollar Tree for $1.25. I'm going to put most of the transfer on the front of the house. Keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding And to finish this DIY I added the hooks back on the house and the twine with the bird. This key house DIY was easy to make and I didn't change anything to the house itself. I just added a wrap on transfer. You don't need to do much to make something still look beautiful and high end. For this DIY, I have a wooden bunny and tissue paper from the Dollar Tree for $1.25 each. I remove the bunny tail and the ear pieces and get the bunny a quick sanding over. Next, I'll give the bunny a good coat of Mod Podge. I'll take a piece of tissue paper with the leaves and spray it with water lightly to help with any wrinkles. I'll place it gently on the bunny and push out any bubbles and creases. I'll then give the tissue paper another light coat of Mod Podge and let it dry. Take me to a different place Just the two of us and we can stay up all night Kissing under street lights when the tissue paper is dry, I'll use my nail file and sanding block to remove the excess tissue paper. I'll take the plain green tissue paper and doing the same process as the bunny, I'll place it on the tail and ears. But I will remove the excess tissue before they dry to make it easier to remove. I'll glue the ears and tail back on the bunny. I have a wooden crate from the Dollar Tree for $1.25 and I'm going to stain it using the early American wood finish from Minwax. When it dries, I'll glue the wooden crate to the bunny. And to finish the DIY, I'll add two glass plants with rocks that I found at my Dollarama for $1.50 each. I loved making this DIY. It was easy, inexpensive, and looks perfect on my palette shelf in the kitchen where I have some of my smaller plants. I hope I've inspired you today with some new ideas for your spring and Easter decor this year. And remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and give me thumbs up before you leave today.
I want to say thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in my next video. So until then, have a beautiful day and bye for now. Like we're twin flames in a different life Deep connection, lights a spark It's like you know me in the depths of my heart We're dreamers Dream.